What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. I'll be your host. Dan's is trying to convince Frank to do a shoot the moon draft where he has to play every card he drafts. Is it Dan's trying to get me to do that? You said it was the draft boys. All right. I think I might just take counterspell here. I, I kind of just want to be, I kind of just want to be denying people's biggest threats. I, I like Baleful Strix a lot. I like Entomb a lot. I think we're just going to go good old fashioned counterspell and see what happens. You missed my message. Buddy, you've said like 20 things. Oh, Dan's, I'm trying. You misread my message. Dan's, I'm trying to. Okay, never mind. Uh, Riftwing Cloudscape, Gilded Lotus, Thieving Skydiver. Do we like Skydiver or Cloudscape better? Ooh, I think it's I think it's Skydiver. I think the upside on Skydiver is way higher, but the consistency on Cloudscape is a little bit higher, so. My step is to pick all the Ugans. I'll 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 take all the Ugans for you. We can do that. If I see an Ugan, I'm gonna take it. Also worth noting, my cube has two Ugans. This one just has the one. Days? Hmm. Or Demir Signet. Oh, I think Demir Signet. Tugans is correct, yes. Oh, I like a Blightsteel Colossus here. Again, I'm always taking Blightsteel Colossus like super early because I'm like, oh shit. What if we get Tinker? Yeah, so we're taking Blightsteel here. Yeah, we'll just might as well put it in the main deck for now. Who can it be knocking at my door? Ch -ch 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 -ch, I don't know. It's on the floor. Hmm. None of these cards are great. Stay up all night drafting to also reset your sleep schedule. Oh, uh, I think it just might be Fumeral here. What kind of chair do you use? I, I use a Herman Miller Aaron. Oh man, do not use a dining room chair for your for your desk computer chair. That is no bueno. Well, we can take Yorion. Maybe we just take Yorion. Matthew, you want to do Shoot the Moon here and I'll play Yorion? And I'll just play every card I get? We could Muldrifter, we could Metalworker. <laughs> yes. Okay, alright, let's do it. Stip, add, uh, add com, elk tears, shoot the moon, must play all cards you draft. Lands are important picks because they make it so we don't have to actually play every, I'm going to take this metal worker. I don't know if that was correct. It might, it might be terrible actually. But we're going to try to play Yorion on the sideboard here. Okay, well, might as well have some fun with it, I guess. Okay, okay, okay. He's going to keep saying okay. I think it's actually Blood Chief's Thirst. If we took the Wandering Fumeral, I might take Deceiver Exarch. Maybe I still take Deceiver Exarch anyway. We have Demir Signet. We might always play Deceiver Exarch, though. Yeah, I'm going to take Deceiver Exarch. Oh, see this? And then there's a pack like this where you're like, oh, dang. Well, we're going to have to play whatever we take here. So. Oh, boy. I think we're just leaning towards Grixis. Yeah, all right. 
Blood Crypt. Nice. That's a nice one. Carry added. My god. Um... Sling Gang is actually pretty decent with Yorion. I'll take Sling Gang. I was thinking Wildfire, but I don't want to commit to red that heavily yet. I'd rather try to be just fewer colors. Oh, Boros Signet? See, now we're talking. Hmm. I'll take a Mutavolt. I think I like Mutavolt a little better there. Um, this is a yikes for me, dog. Mana Flare Factory. Oh, God. Oh, God, it's terrible. Oh, God, it's already terrible. Oh, Jesus. What have we done? What? God. You played against Music Manly earlier? Oh, Music Manly was bragging about his victory. He was like, dude, I just played the worst player I've ever played against. And I was like, Music Manly, that seems very, very insulting. Oh, Mox Emerald. See, now I'm doing it for the kids, for sure. No Tinker, though, so that's good. Yeah, we're taking Mox Emerald here. Emrakul Golos. Another Pestermite to go with our Deceiver Exarch. We don't have any way to exploit Emrakul yet, but we do have... I mean, Golos seems like it's probably where we want to be. Yeah, we're going to take a Golos here. I mean, realistically, Pestermite might even come back. Pester might even come back. <laughs> Um, hmm. Hmm. I actually don't hate Caracas here. Actually, Solemn Simulacrum works pretty well with the Orion as well. We can blink this, we can blink Golos, we can blink Sling Gang. Yeah, I'll take Solemn here. Ren and six, interesting. We don't don't have the really. I like a Ren and six here because if we do get the uh, the fetch lands for it, it's pretty good. Scarab God is also fine. I'm gonna take the Ren and six. I think if we can, I think if we can actually pick up a bunch of fetches and duels, it's probably. I'm just worried about our mana here. 
Splinter Twin. Also, Teferi, Ashiok, Gruel Signet. This pack is also banging. Cultivate seems great, too. I'm going to take the Splinter Twin here. That Pester might, might come back, and then we might be in business. We could also be four-color non-white right now. We have no white cards. Doretti? Oh, yeah, let's take a Doretti here. <coughs> we do need lands. Like, I'm going to take lands pretty aggressively. <laughs> this deck's going to be um, Hissing Quagmire or Lava Claw Reaches. Probably Quagmire. Eh, it might be Lava Claw Reaches. We already have double red. Yeah, let's take a Lava Claw Reaches. Our green is... Uh, less specific. Take a Needle Spires, I guess. I don't love it. Imperial Seal actually might not be bad. Actually, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the land. Lands just mean we just have to play fewer stupid idiots. Inkwell Leviathan. Is it still possible for us to get a Tinker, you think? It might just be safer to get Worm Coil. Let's just take the Worm Coil here. <laughs> Land it up, Dan says. Oh, yeah. Scrubland. Wow, this is a late Emrakul. What? Why? I'm going to take the Emrakul. I don't... No, I got to take the Scrubland. Hmm. Like, Scrubland's just better if we hit fetch lands in the next pack. Like, if we hit a... Uh, like, a Verdant Catacombs, it gets us a White Source, or like an Arid Mesa, rather. Um... Let's take Doretti... Wow, these cards are all terrible. Hmm. <laughs> this is all terrible. It's all bad. It's all bad. Yeah, Bloodstained Mire. See, now we now our Scrubland gets a, a white or a black, which is fine. Yeah, we're just taking Bloodstained Mire. We also have Blood Crypt as well, so. And we have Ren and Six, so we're really trying to... If we can just get 14 lands in this pack, that'd be great. Uh, this is why we wanted to take the Emrakul for Sneak Attack. Eh, that's really unfortunate. I mean, I'm just going to take Scalding Tarn here. We really want a green source to search out. Let's keep a track of these lands here. Uh, white, blue, black, red, green. White we currently have. Bloodstained, Needle, and Scrubland. So three sources of white. Really looking for a tinker here, otherwise these guys are going to be kind of rough. Um, I think Dark Slick Shores is actually better than Colonnade here. Not really loving that, but okay. Blue, we have one, two. Black, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. 
red we have one two three four five and green we have one <sighs> mind twist is good worn power stone's good godless shrine is good we already have a scrubland though i think i kind of just want the worn power stone here because I mean, we already have metal worker Oh, Misty Rainforest? Yes. Let's do it. Misty gives us another blue source. So three. Another green source. Three fetches is nice, especially with Ren and Six. Oh, we also have a Mox Emerald I forgot. So we have Misty. Oh, I think that's the one I counted. So yeah, just Misty Mox Emerald. Larian Academy is interesting. I I think it's I think it's actually Thran Dynamo. I don't think we have enough. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten total artifacts. These are unlikely to be. Yeah, I think Thran Dynamo is good here. We're definitely playing more than forty cards here, so. of old <sighs> I feel like it's got to be Leovold we have Splinter Twin to see Rex arc which is kind of cute <laughs> yeah alright we'll just take Leovold what the hell Lumbering Falls might come back I can see that I mean if either of those lands come back I'll be fine with it Yeah, double green's not ideal. Um, Crucible's interesting, though, because we do have three fetches. We've got Bloodstained Mire, Misty, and Scalding Tarn. And it's also an artifact from Metalworker. I like Blooming Marsh here. Kozilek. What does Blooming Marsh do? Oh, we actually have Zealous Conscripts and we have Splinter Twin. Uh, Blooming Marsh is a third green. And a seventh black. We have a lot of black mana. Yeah, we're definitely taking this guy. Not loving the Mishras and the Muta Vault here. Not really loving the colorless lands in this deck, but... Porcelain Legionnaire is actually a dude. I don't think we're high tiding. I think we're just taking the Legionnaire because, again, it works with Metalworker. Um, Burst Lightning, I guess. I think we're Omnathing. Do we just Omnath? Could also take Baneslayer or Manamorphose. All right, Matt says Omnath. Omnath it is. Lightning Strike is easier to cast. Unbarrel Rights comes back. 33 cards. We could play 27 lands and... Oh, I guess we'd have to play 28 lands. That's a bit much. Hmm. Hmm. I guess it's 27 lands and a mox. Is that any good? Or do you? Shoot? I mean, like, this is thirty-two cards, thirty-three cards with this guy. Uh, how do you make this guy my companion? So that we need we need twenty-eight lands. What does it say? It's twenty more than the minimum deck size. So twenty-eight lands. 
27 lands with Mox. I mean, it's not crazy. It's not the craziest thing I've ever heard. Let's go to properties here. This deck is ridiculous, dude. We're going to play Yorion as our companion here. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> gotta have like 16 lands. So, suggest those lands. Nothing, huh? Okay. White. Three blue sources. One, two, three, six blue. Four white. We get 12 more lands we have seven black we can go up to eight red we have five one two three it's eight nine green we have three we can go up to six there red we're up to nine black we're up to eight I think I just want one more white, one more green, one more blue, and one more black. Okay. How do I make it my companion? Is this it? Is it just automatically my companion? Or do I have to put it in here? I don't know how it works. I think it goes here. This creature can be this deck's companion. But how do I... It starts in your side... Right, I know that, but like... Is this automatically making it my companion? Okay. Alright, let's do it. Choose up to one companion... Okay. Um, you know what? I'll keep. Okay, turn one, run and six. And a very light, very possible to cast this guy. M. Carpenter. This hand could definitely be worse. Get back that Muta Vault. We got a big fan. Great, because they needed more of an advantage. <laughs> Uh-oh. Rip. <laughs> oh, good times. It's okay, we're going to have fun. We're going to have a good time. Matthew, I appreciate you, uh, you offering this up. <laughs> you have no idea, man. Uh, that bad, huh? <laughs> He's like, my deck is fucking insane. I mean, we're going to go turn one Ren and six, and they're going to be like, oh, damn. But really, they have no idea. This is the best we've got. Unless we get like, let's get like a Bloodstained Mire, that would be bananas. Oh, Demir Signet. Let's play Mutavolt so we can start attacking with it. Okay, so now we're like literally just white mana away. Mm hmm. <laughs> well, let's go one, two, three. Put Yorion into our hand. Muta Volte. Get in there for two. And 
do this guy again. All right, it's working out. I was literally thinking conscripts and sigma to get our white source. I'm like, that'll do. Okay. I kind of like steal this attack Karn. I guess we can just play Omnath too. That's pretty cool. One, two, three, four, five, six. Conscripts, we take this, we hit the Karn. Oh, we can actually take the Signet. No, we're just... We're taking the Signet and then shooting this. One, two, three. The problem is we need the red for the for the Omnath too. So one, two, three, four, five. Sell us conscripts. Steal this. Shoot you. Kill Karn. I mean, that felt pretty good. We got rid of the Karn and the Construct, and we put a 3-3 on the board. Well, that is unfortunate. Oh, God. I, I don't like that. <laughs> I have a sad now. I guess Ren and Six is dead. Yep, that is unfortunate. That was a good Planeswalker, too. You did. You did good. Dorete Spaghetti. Oh, we don't actually need a black, but I guess that's still... Come on. It's unfortunate. Oh, and you're going to condemn this guy. Wow. Boy. Well, they have one card in hand, I guess. Okay. I mean, how bad can it be? Shit. Here we go. Shouldn't have said anything. It's going to be bribery. Yep. Oh, okay. That's not terrible. <clears throat> that could be worse. Boros Signet. <laughs> hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, we can play Boros Signet and then untap all of these things. Yeah, let's do that. Because then we still get to keep up Lightning Strike, which is what I'm concerned with. But just use all the mana. There's only five in the pool, my dude. One, two, three. Not the most exciting Yorion, but it still blocks a germ token. And they are in top deck mode. So that is okay. Yeah, mana leak on Omnath plus Phantasmal Image to copy our Zealous Conscripts is pretty rough. Duretti's actually pretty good for us, though.
Oh boy. Is it choose or target? Oh, wonderful. Wait, what happened? What was this? Oh, it was a metamorph. I thought they were going to copy Yorion for a second. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's all right. Mono batter skull dot deck. Oh, Dan's with 107 bits. Always the most random assortment of bits, and I love it. Okay, so they have Phantasmal Image and Phyrexian Metamorph. I don't know. Their deck hasn't seemed that bad so far. This does not seem like an attacking turn, but... Okay. Can we just play Sphinx of the Steel Wind if we draw? That's pretty wild. Thran Dynamo. I don't actually think we need Thran Dynamo here. Um, Doretti goes up to five, which means he can take a hit from this guy. So we're probably going to go one, two, three... Four. Play Mr. Spaghetti. Discard. I'll discard just Thran Dynamo because I'm probably going to shoot this guy. Vindicate's also pretty good. Do we Vindicate? Oh, we can't Vindicate either right now. It's still pretty good. God damn it, Matthew. Vindicated. I mean they're still on one they're still on top deck mode, so. Mm, knew it all along. <sighs> this guy's dead. Block the actual batter skull. Oh boy, just mono top decks here, huh? Don't be a sun titan. Don't have randomly top decked a sun titan. Oh, you're just equipping that guy. Okay. So if I just kill the germ here, it's actually insane, right? <laughs> We have a lot of lands in our deck. One, two, three. Okay, they bounce like the Phyrexian Metamorph. I would be tempted to play Yorion. Because then you can actually put the Batter Skull on Yorion, which is pretty good. And you can also blink the Batter Skull. Yeah, that seems good. I mean, you can never get it back, though, is the only problem. <clears throat> and by that, I mean, like, you could have you could bounce the Batter Skull, but... Well, okay. 
One, two, three. I'm okay with that. Don't target my things, then I draw some cards. Hmm. Huh. Okie dokie. It's very good. Very good. But in creature form. <laughs> yeah. This is like, this is Matthew's first time seeing Elk Tears. Yeah, that's fucking insanely good. <sighs> so either kill Doretti or you just go face and mill us. Yep, get ready it is. Not actually sure what I could draw to beat that. Seems good. I don't know why they complained about their deck. Their deck seems very good. Now they get to put a Sword of Feast and Famine on this. So we might as well discard our hand. Uh, one, two, three. Yep, we cannot block this, but we can still block this, I guess, so. Yep, this is really going to shit. And the real problem is that I don't have any sideboard cards. I have literal nothing that I can actually board into here to deal with things like this. Yep. Sphinx of the Steel Wind, Worm Coil Engine. Lots of cards that would have been great to have in the graveyard with a Duretti on board. So. <laughs> yeah, alright, let's go to the next game. Yep. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They milled, and we draw Thieving Skydiver. might have been fine if it didn't include us taking <laughs> eight damage they could have also equipped the batter skull to it for 12 so What rule will they have besides Vindicate? We got Duretti, which would have been decent. Um, Thieving Skydiver. Counter spells an option. Angrath's Rampage makes them sack an artifact, which would have been fine. They were all good. Um, Unburial Rights would have been a fine draw. So I feel like we actually had a few answers there, but I think our hand was just, yep, all right. Having to select that every time is gonna get, I feel like that's gonna affect me. I'm gonna forget one time, I'm just gonna hit okay instantaneously and it's just gonna be like, you didn't select your companion, stupid. And I'm gonna be like, you're right, I did not. Well, Thran Dynamo next turn is pretty good. What are we getting with Misty? L literally just Islander Forest, it looks like. So we might as well crack it now. Get our island. Literally just don't want to even cast Mana Flare. 
Oh, I didn't even see they put this. All right. Okay. Well, that's just better than mine. Yep. All right. I'm going to pass here because we got nothing to do. Oh, I guess we could have put Yorgon in our hand. That would have been a good play. And then play to Yorgon. Yeah, I like that a lot better than the nothing that we did. See, I always forget about the frigging companions. <sighs> That's my bad. Come at me, bro. Okay. Hmm. Well. One, two, and that's all I got. Man, I wish I had more permanence. More, 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 uh, like this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cards, eleven cards that produce mana, one card that doesn't, and a card that was not even in our deck. That's a good draw. I mean, to be fair, we have like 28, 29, 30, 31, 32 sources of mana in our deck out of 60. It's not great. I'm tempted to just put Yorion in the main deck and then actually just cut some of the lands. I feel like that would probably be a better strategy. But it's a, it's a work in progress, so. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well, that's pretty good. It's a solid 788 construct here. Okay, I guess we're just dead. I don't know why they said... Uh... I don't know why they said you have no idea. Like... Yeah, we don't even have red for this. Okay, cool. That was a fun game. Oh, look, a Scalding Tarn. Okay. Well, we're just going to play Yorion on the main deck. Cut. One, two, three, four, five. Basics, probably. Can actually cut another red, I think. So this is what? This is 22 lands and 33 cards. I think that's pretty good. So that's 10 more cards than normal, but also 4 more lands than normal. 5 more lands than normal. So I think that's actually correct. Plus we have six fewer lands in the deck, which is really just just fine. Still playing all the cards. <laughs> Two one incoming. It's okay. We're gonna do it. Hmm. All right. Here we go again on our own. Yes. <laughs> Mulligan. You know what? Maybe. Play this guy. It's two, four, six. You know what? I'll keep it. Let's put burst lightning on the bottom 
because it's not an artifact. Oh yeah, that's gonna do it. Hem Carpenter, I was like, what are you talking about with like your like your deck being bad? I was like, this deck seems fine. I mean Oh, well, that's fitting. Tonight is the night. Okay. I don't I don't know about all that. I don't think Metalworker's gonna really go the distance here, unfortunately. Against the red deck, I really don't have strong hopes for Metalworker, but you know what? We'll see. I'll get to let Hunter in because he's an obnoxious little bitch sometimes. Hold on. And dead. Okay, okay. Yep, this is how we die. Because we didn't keep the burst lightning. <laughs> so next turn we take what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we go to five. I'm sure that's reasonable. Yeah, for the record, guys, this step is terrible, and I don't recommend anyone do it unless they get extremely lucky. Hey, wow, Mr. Metalworker. Who saw that guy coming? They're like, no, I'll just kill you. Yeah, cool. Sounds good. You're great at magic. You got to play one, two cards. Fantastic. Way to go. Tell me how you really feel about this tip. It's wonderful. I love it. I'm having a good time. I feel like a little kid that put together a sealed deck by just taking all the cards in his sealed deck and just playing all of them. And I'm trying to like just against like a standard deck. And I'm just like trying to compile a win with a bunch of trash. It's not good. You know what? Sure. What's the fucking, what's the worst that, how much better is the next hand going to get? Not, not much better is really the, the answer. We could also cast Omnath if we draw it, so that's cool. <laughs> of course you have a black card and we have no black sources it's kind of funny Ponder. Damn. 
Thank you. Oh, Dan's with the gifted sub. <laughs> oh, gosh. She lessens the torture just a little bit. Just a little bit. Good. Sounds good. That's great. Who needs that anyway, right? So we already established that Misty only gets... I guess it gets an island, so that's pretty good. Oh man, please let me just counter something. Yeah, I don't care about that. I am going to crack this though, because I really don't want to... Uh, don't really want to draw more lands. So we're going to draw a land here, but... Oh, that's basically a land. We could play Sling Gang here, but I'd rather just keep up Counterspell. <laughs> Our deck doesn't have a ton of answers to things, so. Is my internet dying? Sometimes it happens at night. Still alive. It's still good over here. Hmm. Still good. Okay. Is Magic Online dying? Fantastic. <laughs> 